Come on in. Hey. Hey, you said you wanted to see me? Yeah, thanks for coming in, Jason. Uh, I really appreciate you taking time out of your day. I know it's busy. Um, do you have any idea why I called you in today? I mean, not really, no. I don't think I did anything. Well, um, you recently submitted a short story to me, uh, I think you'll remember, and the main character at the end uh, took his own life, um, and you know, it seemed in the story that it was a pretty justified uh, suicide, like uh, the way you wrote it kind of gave credence to the character's actions, um, and I didn't know if uh, you, know, you wanted to talk about that at all. Well, I mean, it's just a story. I mean, you asked me to write a story for class, so I wrote the story. I mean, I did what you asked in the assignment. What would some what would some of the factors be that would contribute to a person wanting to kill themselves? Well, I don't know. I mean, like, like I said in my story, like, there's just a lot going on for that guy. So, like, I don't know. He was just having a hard time. So. I don't know. Emotional issues. And, yeah. Uh, are you are you experiencing any kind of emotional issues like that? I mean, I don't know. I'm in high school. I mean, everybody in high school has emotions and stuff. I mean, I don't know. My family just doesn't get me a lot of times. And, like, I don't know. My friends sometimes either don't get me or, like, just want me around, like, sometimes. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and be completely honest with you, Jason. Uh I, myself, when I was young and in high school, struggled with depression. Uh, I think that a lot of people end up struggling with depression at this time in life. And uh, I don't think that it's anything to be ashamed about or stigmatized about. You know, I think if people are feeling these kinds of emotions, that they should definitely talk about them. Yeah. Uh, so, what are some things that might be leading to you feeling these emotions? I don't know, like I said, my parents just, like, don't get it, and I mean, like, they're trying to be supportive, but, like, they're not around a lot, you know, they work a lot, and I don't know, I think that they just have a lot on their plate, so they don't get me, like, you know, and, like, my friends, like, they're around, but, like, I don't think they get me really either, and they don't understand the stuff that's going on in my life, you know? Sounds like you are experiencing a lot of isolation and loneliness. Yeah, I, I mean... Yeah. How do you deal with something like that? Well, I mean, I don't know. I've been smoking pot sometimes, and that helps mm. me out sometimes. Like, it just makes me feel better when when other stuff in my life is really sucky, you know? Okay, I see. Uh, has that had any kind of a negative influence on your life that you've noticed? I mean... I don't know. Sometimes I don't. I feel like I'm not so productive when I smoke a lot, but like it just helps me deal with stuff, you know, like with my parents, with my friends, and with school, and with all the other stuff going on. Keep your mind together. Uh, I can understand that. Um, you know, sometimes it might help if you kind of just keep a little log and you know you write down that day what substance you use and how you're feeling. Yeah. And then that way, you know, you can see, you know. If I smoked that day, was it a really, you know, was it actually helping me, or did I feel depressed anyway? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and recommend to you that you see our, our local guidance counselor. Um, her name is a uh, Miss Marinette, mm -hmm. and she will help you out with anything that you need. Um, and honestly, anything more you want to talk to her about, you know, any deeper issues, she would be the person to get you in the right direction, especially just from hearing from what you're saying. You have some, you know, substance abuse issues maybe that you yourself don't feel comfortable about even though you're doing them. Mm. Would that be something that interests you? Yeah, I guess. I mean, it would kind of be nice to talk to somebody that isn't one of my friends and isn't going to judge me, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know exactly how you're talking, how you, how you're talking about. Um, well, thanks for coming in today, Jason. I really appreciate you talking to me, buddy. Yeah, and, uh, thanks. I hope the rest of your school days goes good, okay? All right. Take care.